Hi you guys! So I thought it might be fun today to drink some tea and talk to you guys about my tea collection because it's pretty it's pretty varied. Uh, I like tea a lot in, in all of its various forms. I'm a southern girl at heart so uh, I love some sweet tea um, but really sweet iced tea can can be made from just about anything. Uh, I get the giant boxes of Louisiane um, because it's made for iced tea and because I can get a giant box of it and my other half who lives with me drinks it by the like gallon at a time so that's the the most cost-effective way to handle that. Um, I think um, my two personal favorite teas, um, that I have, I'm out of one of them, uh, and that's the Lavender Citrus Sage Tea from Tivana. Uh, I like that one a lot. Uh, I'm a big fan of herbal teas, which technically aren't really tea, but I digress. Um, my next favorite is this one from David's Tea and it's chocolate orange puer tea and uh, I don't think it's seasonal uh, but it, it might be. It makes me think of Christmas at the very least. Um, and I think that the leaves when you make puer tea are actually fermented so it has a, a pretty strong kind of bitter taste. I'll see if I can pour some in my hand and show you guys but there's actually like little pieces of orange peel in here and um, and like chocolate chips which melt in your drink and it's it's rather delightful. Um, add a little bit of of like vanilla almond milk or something. I don't know. I'm not really much of a milk in my tea kind of person, but but it works well with this I think because of the chocolate pieces. Um, my next favorite that I do have around came from a shop in Missouri where my parents live. Um, so I don't know exactly what, like, brand or anything it is. Um, but it's, a uh, it's a green tea and it has, um, like, lavender and cinnamon in it. And I wish that you could smell through the screen. I seem to wish that a lot. Um but it, it smells just delightful. I guess the, the trend is that I'm a fan of anything with lavender in it. Um, I also have a couple of different uh, teas that Starbucks used to carry. Um, I have this uh, green tea with lemongrass and spearmint. Um, a friend of mine who's a barista at Starbucks and has been for quite a while um, gave these to me. Uh, they come already in little little bags so that's nice as far as if you don't have a, like a diffuser. Um, and I can talk some about diffusers in just a moment. Um, the other is this uh, Vanilla Rubios Parfait and it has apple and peach and cinnamon and Tahitian vanilla and it's really super sweet. Without sugar or honey or agave or anything to sweeten it, this is like dessert in a cup. Um, it is delicious. Um, and I think, with the exception of just a couple of things, everything else I have is... Um, Loose leaf, so I'll talk for a second about uh, diffusers. So here's like a typical tea ball. It's just kind of like a strainer and it's metal and it comes apart. Um, but if you don't use like filtered bottled water to make tea, which I don't always, um, sometimes the metal doesn't mix as, as well with like the local minerals in the water and it can leave your tea tasting a little funny um, which was the case a lot when I still lived on campus at the university um, it's not so much now that I live in a different part of the city 
but um, another good option are these um, I got these for 89 cents and there were 18 of them uh, they're actually they're just little cotton like muslin fabric bags with um, some elastic on one side and they're for like lemon wedges and seasonings when you boil seafood but they're they, they're like a little tiny shower cap but like water goes through them instead that was a really bad analogy I'm sorry but you just you know put your tea in there and then you can tie it closed with like um, a piece of thread or something and have a tea bag that way um, I have this little like stack of teas that um, my mom sent to me uh, I guess just as a as a fall present recently um, and there it has like a raspberry black tea and um, a green tea with mint and a plum white tea and a really good chamomile tea. Um, I think that my two favorites are probably the, the raspberry black tea or the, the green tea with mint. Um, green tea with mint is a really good thing for an upset tummy, just so you know. Um, good to drink with a hangover. Um, I have a lot of skin issues and, uh, acne face demons, so, um... I thought that I would try this tea that I found at like my local supermarket and it has like um, rose and pomegranate and hibiscus flavor in it. Um, it's just an herbal tea so I don't think there's any like actual tea in it. Um, I have not uh, noticed really that it's making too terribly much of a difference in my skin but it tastes good. It has a really kind of subtly sweet, nice floral smell and taste. So that's a good thing. Um, I have this like yerba mate, like detox tea. I have two bags of it. Um, and I can't say from personal experience, um, I guess because you're supposed to have a part two to it as far as like for help with weight loss. But, uh, I just use it to wake me the fuck up. There's, uh, quite a lot of caffeine in, in yerba mate, and it's, it's good for a bit of pep. And, uh, contrary-wise, I have this chill the fuck out tea that I also got from my local, my local supermarket. And it's just chamomile and lavender and ashwagandha and clove. And so it just smells really nice, and chamomile and lavender are both supposed to relax you, and just having a nice, chill, hot drink is is really paramount in, in getting to sleep sometimes. Um, a friend of mine is way into fruit teas and went to Boulder recently um, on his way to, to Denver, just chilling around Colorado. Um, and so he bought, like, literally obscene amounts of herbal fruit teas by Celestial. And he, he gave me this multi-pack that has, like, raspberry and black cherry and peach and blueberry and mixed berry and... Um, they're all pretty good, uh, they're kind of the Kool-Aid of teas, they're even really pigmented, which is great because I like to mix tea with the henna that I put on my hair, and so, um, I'll mix, like, a little bit of the, the raspberry or the black cherry to, to kind of deepen the red pigment of the henna as it sits on my head, and it improves the way henna smells greatly. Um, henna doesn't stink per se, but it definitely has a pungent, like, grass clippings kind of smell. And it's, it's nice to tone that down when you're gonna be wearing it on your head for, like, four hours. 
Um, I share teas um, and pass around things with one of my really good friends. And I have a couple bags that I haven't brewed of tea that she gave me. Um, like this oolong tea. Um, but she did not write on this bag where it is from. Uh, or this mandala tea. And this is another, um, like, fat-leafed kind of mandala tea, and this is from Valley Peak. So, um, and then lastly, I have this. I don't know if I have any Chinese viewers or people who would, who would know just off the top of their heads from the packaging at all. I'm sorry, I know that it's backwards, um, but it doesn't have any English on it at all other than like these numbers right here. I had a Chinese roommate when I lived on campus uh, at school and she gave me this and it's just in the in the box in a little bag like this and I've only brewed a couple of cups of it and I like it. Um, it has a, a very, like, strong, earthy flavor. Um, it looks like maybe it's just a black tea, or I guess it could be a pu'er tea. It's, it's really dark, and it's in rather, rather large bits of leaf. Um, if any of you happen to know, hit me up. That would be lovely. Um, and in addition, because I always, always, always forget things, um, here is a package. I don't remember how much it cost. I got it from like a, a like a local store that sells um, like bulk teas, bulk loose leaf teas. Um, these little strainer packies. Um, they're just like a big envelope and you can fold this top part over and you know like this part will sit down in your cup and this part will lean over it so it won't like spill out everywhere um, and they're just little like paper bags that way you don't have to deal with like sewing them closed at the top like you do the um the lobster boiling things there's gotta be a word for those. What does the packaging say? It just says tools of the sea. The little straining bags. But um I hope you guys found that fun and perhaps maybe educational. Um if there's anything you guys would like to see a video about, if I have any knowledge of it at all, I'll try to make one. I'm really trying hard this whole month to put out at least one video a week, so let me know down below. Have a good day, you guys.